Oh, sh Yeah, that's too much. Ah. Nope, nope, not gonna do that. We'll just do it like this. Hello, everybody. Making some fish and chips. As y'all know, I've been to the United Kingdom recently and was able to sample fish and chips. So, since I've got a new GoPro and some halibut from a family friend, I am going to see about making our own here. What is it, Bella? They had us home with some coleslaw? All right. It'll go good with the fish and chips. Full disclosure, I have actually never made fish and chips up to this point. I had fried foods, I had made french fries, but never proper fish and chips. Going off the recipes of Gordon Ramsay, Alton Brown, and just what I've seen in the fish and chip shops I saw in the UK. Here's all the list of the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. You can take a moment and screenshot that. Got it? Good. So first step, you're going to want to knock down your fish into bite-sized pieces, like one, two inches tops. Set those aside in a bowl and then cut up your potatoes into one inch strips. I like to leave the peel on. I think it makes it taste better. After you cut them up, move them to a bowl of cold water to rinse off the excess starch. Then turn your attention to the oil and the batter. As you can see, I'm going to fry in a big, heavy cast iron skillet here. I like cast iron because it holds heat very well. And as you can see, I'm not filling it all the way to the top. Do not fill it more than like half full we do not want spillovers we do not want our kitchens on fire please and thank you all of that in combination with proper heat management which is really important to frying will ensure that it is safe it is not as greasy as it could be and is cooked evenly yes it's going on high heat but it is not going to stay there please invest in a good thermometer this is important what is that you looking at it's called a gopro and i'm kind of trying to do some other things with it film some stuff with it in fact, I'm kind of recording all this. Y'all don't have to worry about it. I won't get y'all in it. <laughs> now, at this point, you can mix up all the dry ingredients, the flour, the bacon powder, the seasonings, as far in advance as you want. But once you pour that beer in, you are committed. And once you pour it in and whisk it up until it's nice and smooth and doesn't have any lumps in it, you're going to want to let it sit in the fridge for a minimum of 15 minutes and no more than one hour. Any less than 15 minutes, it won't hydrate. Any more than an hour, too much gluten will form. Gluten attracts fat, and fat makes greasy food. We don't want that. Now what you're seeing me do here is I'm putting the cornstarch in one bowl, and I'm putting the batter in the other, and... I'm quickly trudging them in cornstarch, and as soon as I dip it in the batter, I'm taking it directly to the fryer. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, just straight in and ease it in. Don't drop it in like a log, or else someone's going to get hurt. In fact, this is at normal speed. I'm not speeding this up to indicate the speed in which you should be putting those fish into the oil, which, by the way, should be heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which I'm constantly checking for with my meat thermometer. It would be better if I had like a candy or a fry thermometer but you know I'm an amateur I never said I was a professional at this so I'm working with what I got but don't be afraid to make aggressive adjustments with the heat if it drops way too low crank it all the way up if it's going way too fast towards 380 Fahrenheit crank it down and take it off the heat for a little bit your safety is more important than anything and for the love of God please wear a shirt and wear some closed toed shoes thank me later anyway you're gonna want to cook them all about 45 to 60 seconds per side just until the batter is set you're gonna really want to look at it and once the batter is set turn it over cook it 45 seconds to 60 seconds on side b as well also notice i only have three pieces of fish here at a time don't go any more than that or else the oil temperature will drop it'll take longer to cook and it'll become greasy and we don't want that when you're about to ready to cook your fries you want to drain them in the sink and Put them, what I like to do is put them in a salad spinner and take it for a spin. That way all the moisture is wicked off of them. We're actually going to fry the fries twice. Once at 325 degrees for about two to three minutes to a nice pale and floppy. That'll cook the inside. Then a second time at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about two to three minutes until they're nice and golden brown and delicious. Again, working in small batches and don't just drop them in. Release them as though they're little fishies. Keep your fish warm during this time by putting them on a wire rack and put them in your oven at its lowest setting. Important, season your fries while they are piping hot straight out of the fire. This is the only time you get to have the seasoning sick to them. And yeah, you could just use salt, but why do that to yourself? Kick it up a notch. I've got Bojangle seasoning here, but you could use whatever you want. In terms of service, I am the typical American that I do use ketchup, but it was only for the fries. For the fish, 
fish didn't need anything, although I did add some hot sauce to it, which is mostly vinegar, so the Brits in the comments that unironically come out for anything British related, y'all can sit your nitpicky asses down for this one. Unless you actually own a chippy or you've made this from scratch yourself. Then you get to tell me how I did. Because let me tell you something, the fish was juicy, the batter was crisp and just cracked right then and there fries were just perfectly on the inside and out, and had a family friend over that doesn't eat fish but absolutely devoured this. I think this crunch speaks for itself. Thanks for watching y'all. There's more food videos on the left hand side, there's travel videos on the right hand side. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye for now.